I'm interested in those everyday things because we all know what they are. It's kind of a generous or kind of democratic point in which to start a conversation with somebody. It's not as simple as like going to something and looking at it and moving away. You kind of this idea of collaborating with space, I think, is as important as collaborating with your audience or the artworks which kind of compose an exhibition that you've put together. The work that I've been nominated for is an exhibition that was held at the Sculpture Centre Long Island City, New York, and the exhibition was called Lichen Libido Chastity. There was the centrepiece, as there will be in the Tate, is Project for a Doorway after Gaetano Pesce. Uh, Gaetano Pesce is a highly acclaimed Italian designer based in New York. He kind of described that as, in a way, quite pragmatically, a curiosity with this new material. There's the kind of norm within galleries that you're not necessarily allowed to touch things or things aren't physically interactive, but if you put something in that work and you know what it feels like, maybe it gives you a sense of maybe how the rest of the work feels like or where it pulls or it doesn't or, you know, it kind of gives you another way in which isn't just visual or isn't just about reading the text or it isn't about kind of seeing if you can unpick it, it's really direct. That's really nice actually, isn't it? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I'm interested in these kind of degrees of trust that you would have to give over to the person that you work with. It's not as simple as when you might get something fabricated where you would do everything apart from just maybe make that final thing yourself. There's a, a level of teaching each other about the way in which something can be done. And thinking about how I'm interested in the image is about finding out what the limits of an image of a boot might be, that you can't just make it however, because there's a process. I think humour is a positive within my work. I don't know if it would be for everybody's. Ultimately, I want people to look. I think my practice is very driven by different ways in which we look at things. All of the other kind of things which happen through research and materials and making, it, it kind of extends that moment. Ultimately, I think you create something which is kind of born of your own understanding of certain things. It's left completely open to however people choose to understand it. Ambiguity is like a key thing within the work if people understand it as like a performative space for themselves or if they choose to see it in a kind of very kind of serious way, then it's their choice. <laughs>